Hey guys, so here's tutorial part one for our Wally -E character. Um, in the introduction, you saw the uh, reference images we're going to be using. So there they are again. You can grab those from the link that's on our um, first video, the introduction to this. We're going to start off by creating the um, box body part that you can see here. Um, just the basic shape. We're going to block out things, and then we'll go in and add details later on. So to start with, We've already got a cube as our default object here in Blender. And I'm just going to scale this cube up so it's two times the size in each direction. And then in our edit mode, I'm going to put in a loop cut around the center. And then we'll grab the faces, which will then be removed before we add a mirror modifiers and then everything we do on one side of the face will happen on the other. Um, now we're going to go to our front view and we're going to begin by putting in this detail here. So we want to draw in this shape that's going to be pulled out forwards. Okay, so we'll just zoom in on our front and we'll get the knife tool and we're probably going to want to start cutting somewhere around here. Hit C for constraints. And then we can grab this face and extrude it outwards. There. So there's our first extrusion done for this front section. Um, now I'm going to cut out the hole in the top where the head is going to come out and that's slightly stepped so we'll go to our top view again we'll get our knife and we're going to cut a little forward of center Let's see for constraints It's going to cut out like so. We'll then select that center part, delete those edges. Uh, well, we'll delete the face. Now we have a hole there. Now we're going to grab these edges. Hit E for extrude, and these are going to be extruded on the Z axis. So down a little bit. Then we're going to make an edge from the face, uh, make a face from the edges. So we have a face inserted again there. Then we'll get our knife tool again. And we're going to want to cut out a section which can then be extruded downwards. So I'm going to hold on control so we draw from the center to the center. Grab that edge. We're going to move it over here. Again, the knife tool center to center. Move that edge backwards. Again, the knife tool center to center. And it will move in this direction here. Once you've done that, select this face, hit E to extrude, we'll bring that down inside the body, select the center face, and delete it. Now we have the cutout for where the head is going to come out. Um, if we look at the back of Wally, -E, you'll see that it's not cube shaped it's um, kinked so we're going to add in that now so around the back here we're going to want to add a cut so again I'll go center to center with the cut then we can select this edge uh, let's take a look 
it's going to be around a little more probably than halfway down not much and then we're going to need another line so we'll grab our knife again Oops. select just that edge and we'll bring that down now if we grab this face and pull the face out we begin to get then this shape at the rear there. Maybe that's a little bit higher, so we can grab this edge, move it up. We can also move this edge up. I think our whole cube also needs to be made a little smaller in height. I'm going to bring everything back as well, a little bit. Okay, so there's our back shape done. And the front, and our cutout at the top there. So the last thing we're going to add in, in this tutorial, is going to be this edge, which protrudes around the top there. So. We're going to need to draw in a cut with the knife, center to center, I'm going to move this edge up. Then we can go to the side view. Get the knife again. Start at that vertex, hit C for constraints, and go to the end. Then we can go to our back view. And again, start at that vertex, hit C. This time we're not going to go all the way, we'll just come around a quarter of the way and up to the top like so. Now we can move these faces. So if we look at our image here. You see that this front part here is actually set back. So what I'm going to do is take this edge Um, no, we'll do that later. So we'll, we'll just uh, bring bring this piece out first of all. So if we extrude outwards, and we're going to extrude about the same distance as that front console. And then we'll grab these two faces That's going to be extruded out, but not quite as much, just a small amount. And then again at the back here, we extrude outwards. I think this face can be moved in slightly. Once we have this, we can select all of these top edges and extrude that upwards a little bit. And we can select this bottom part, extrude that down. And we're gonna bring these faces inwards. Like so. I think maybe we made that a little wide here so we can always drag that back. And 
there we have now our basic shape of Wally's body. So we go back over now into object mode and you'll see there we have the hole for the head, the front console, and our edges are done. So in the next tutorial, we're going to start adding in more details to this. So we just got the basic shape to start with. We're going to start adding in these cutaways, um, these corner pieces. You can see also the front here is beveled slightly back. So I think we can add that now, actually. Very slight bevel at the front there, but um, we'll go back over into um, edit mode. We'll get the knife and we cut across the front. Let's go to the front view. We're going to be cutting approximately here. Let's see for constraints. Okay, and then we grab this bottom edge and that's just going to be dragged backwards a little bit, giving that slight bevel to the front of Wally there. Okay, so there's our basic shape. In the next tutorial, we're going to continue adding some more details to this. We're going to begin to add in the, the panels and the cutaways so we can develop Wally's body further. You can download the link for the project file that you can load into Blender yourself from the link below this video, which will give you um, the project file that you can actually open in Blender and play around with yourself. And that is going to be saved at exactly this point. So you can always pick up the next tutorial um, if you haven't followed this one. Um, you can load this model up and you can begin from part two. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.